If the world of fashion excites you, then there is a unique opportunity waiting on you to make it yours. Today I bring you 15 fashion business ideas that can help you make a name and an income for yourself. So stick around. If it is your first time on my channel, kindly get down to subscribe and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be able to get notified every time I put out some really, really good content. And also don't forget to like, comment and also share my video as well. If you are a fashion fanatic, this is your video. So with tailoring, you have two options. You can either set up a shop in town close to a store that sells unstitched clothes. That way you can go a long way. Why? Because there are no transportation costs and all that. And you also require like two to three employees that are really good with a stitching activity. And probably if you, you could choose a machine that you're well versed with. Is it mechanical or electrical? And you're good to go. You can also set up this kind of business in your own home. Now in this case, you will set up this kind of business in either a garage or in your basement or in any kind of room that is rarely used in your home. That's where you're going to set up this business. The employees should really be well versed with the stitching activity. That's a must. And also, uh, when you decide to put your business at home, then that means you're going to switch to e-commerce. What I mean by e-commerce is that you're going to put your shop online so people can be able to find you online. If you are really an expert in tailoring, why don't you set up a tailoring school? It's as easy as that. So with tailoring, you can have your tailoring uh, business, stitching business, or you can have a tailoring shop. You can choose any. Crochet knitting is a really, really great home best business. Now, let me show you something. You see, when I give back to my baby girl, a friend of mine sent me this. It's a dress, very, very nice dress. Mm -hmm. And also this, this, it's a, it's a baby shawl. This is all crochet knitting and um, I know it's usually said to be for women only but you can take it up as a man there is no shame in that there is no shame in it okay so now with this kind of business you can as I had earlier said it's a home-based business and as a student if you do not have lectures or if you do not have lessons you can actually do it in your free time and make money out of it what can you do with this crochet knitting? You can actually make home decor, decors, you can make bikinis, you can make uh, swimsuits, you can make uh, dresses, you can make so many things from crochet knitting. So why not start it up? You can actually learn crochet knitting from the internet, YouTube. You can learn it from a friend or you can learn it from anybody that is close to you that knows it. It's a really great business venture. You should try it out. Setting up a fashion event is not really easy, right? So as a fashion event producer, you're going to work with both fashion designers and models. In this case, you help the designer with the runway show casting and also um, help out with how clothes are going to fit the models and also how the models should really carry themselves while they are on the runway. Now with this kind of business you don't really need like too much money to start it up. All you need is self-promotion. Big, big self-promotion and like you really need to have like relationships and referrals in the fashion industry so you need to like get deep into uh, fashion and be friends with people that are so much into uh, fashion, especially with the fashion designers as well. You will need like business cards and also like online portfolio. An online portfolio is really good and also a printed one is good as well. Now, when you're getting into this kind of business, you should really come in with an open mind because fashion is full of diverse personalities. So if you, can, if you cannot handle that, please forget about it but if you see yourself as a fashion event producer you should really get into it no doubt you can do it if you have basic knowledge about technicality of sewing 
dress draft making three dimensional shades and their contrast designing then you may definitely have the gut to set up a small or a home-based business by introducing within your hometown and then expand it now in this case of course people that have really taken up the fashion design and, or that have studied fashion designing can take up this idea why not just a little research will tell you how to get your design stitched and the right fabric you can market these products on various online platforms such as facebook instagram and you can also make your own website where people can be able to see your products and buy them as a photo stylist you're going to work with professional photographers not just any photographers you need to work with professional photographers now in this case um, as a photo stylist you're going to scout out for location you're going to be responsible for getting clothes you're going to be responsible for getting furniture or accessories if at all all those things are really required you're responsible for that and um, as a photo stylist as a professional photo stylist if you really want to be one you need to really have a good sense of fashion like you need to be an all-around kind of person that is kind of knows that kind of knows the modern fashion the olden fashion and is also well versed with the trendy fashion like what is trending you know and uh, what is more important is you also have to have the smarts on where to get the, everything that is required for the photo shoot that's all you need so if you do something really great for a customer today with a great photographer or professional with another professional photographer of course the professional photographer will be able to market you but then what is more important is the person that you have worked for if you do something really great they'll be able to market you somewhere else or to recommend someone else to use you as their photo stylist for another photography you'll be able to be recommended because of your good work the business of rental costumes is another one of the amazing fashion business ideas it's a side business which can be started as a home business even if it may increase self-rewarding while running a boutique store because it's a unique way of products promotion getting costumes on rent retains its scope due to the demand of function organizers in academic institutions uh, theaters wedding purposes and more so with this you can actually grow your business if at all you're in the rental business uh, it's actually rather better you have a boutique you own a boutique so as people come in to rent the costumes or other costumes there are some other clothes in your boutique that they can easily watch or see and be lured to actually buy them mm -hmm. so it's it's a really profitable business that you can try both at your home or in a boutique in town most of these days people rush in for things that are really imported like imported from Turkey, imported from the US, even if they're like secondhand things, eh? people are rushing for the imported stuff. So I think this kind of business is really, really good because people would rather prefer something that they have manufactured outside of our country than something that is manufactured here. So why not going for this business? So on the other hand, exporting local handicrafts may also help you to generate good revenue. One can start the business with low cost and after getting a net profit, it may be expanded gradually. So with time, the business really expands and becomes bigger and bigger once you are exporting your local handicrafts. So this is really a good business idea. Creating unique t-shirts just requires you to be very artistic and also fashionable. Yeah. You need to be all that but also uh, there, uh, there there are very many t-shirt creator tools on the internet so you can also use that to incorporate it in your business 
uh, for creating unique t-shirts and then selling them you can sell them either online or you can just have a small shop in town specifically where people buy clothes the, the fashion the fashion ends don't 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 take your t-shirts to where people buy food just make sure that your designs are really good they are eye-catching fashionable very artistic and um, unique designing and manufacturing of jewelry using hands is really getting famous these days people are using raw materials like laces pearls stones threads and so many other uh, raw materials are used for handmade jewelry in the process of looping twisting and designing now the craze of wearing handmade jewelry among female fashion community is really commendable because it it provides a great opportunity to utilize home business ideas with a, with a small investment to generate promising net profit so as a mother or as a teenager out there or as a student you can actually check this out it's really easy to learn this thing there's a lot on youtube so there's a lot on youtube so you can learn a lot instead of watching videos and music videos or something that is really funny or something like that you can learn one thing or two that you can use to make money if you really have a good physique and you intend to get into the fashion industry then the one option could definitely um opting to be a fashion model and it is really a cool way of making money you can successfully combine this type of business with other interests and you can consider starting up a modeling agency if you have a good people management and networking skill you can actually initiate a boutique store in several ways for a small startup you can consider starting a home-based boutique store also you can start from a commercial retail location or an online store now every business model demands a different planning and marketing strategy so you decide how you want to start up your boutique store at the end of the day make sure you choose the best way on how you want to run your business or your boutique business and make sure that you have a very good business plan if you do not know how to write about to write a business plan kindly uh, stick around to my channel or subscribe to my channel so you can be able to know the essentials of a fashion business plan another cool fashion business venture is fashion blogging hmm? now fashion blogging is all about educating or passing information to people and uh, blogging is one of the main several people all over the world are making money from the internet it is all about creating useful and perhaps educative content for a targeted audience on the internet if you think that you have good knowledge on fashion or you can make money by sharing your knowledge to a wide range of audience via your blog then you're good to go with blogging this is how making money from blogging works if you have good content on your blog lots of people I mean human traffic will visit your blog the larger the traffic that visits your blog the more money you will be able to earn from your blog via adsense and also by offering subscription services to members and also selling your products via your blog so fashion accessories include a wide range of handbags uh, shoes jewelry um makeup um, belts everything mm -hmm. so you will need to conduct market research to evaluate leading players in the market and what they're selling for this kind of business the location of this business should be preferred preferably near a market with clothing stores and this will this will definitely help uh, users to buy matching accessories to their clothes instantly so with this accessory retail out outlet you just need to like just have a bunch of it's it's just a mixture of everything the shoes the belts the dresses the laces the hats everything in one 
so that when someone comes to your shop to buy stuff they're able to like get one thing and match it with the other and match it with the other just make sure you like selling really nice things that are luring to buy if you're really artistic and fashionable as well you could really find some good success as a fashion illustrator how using the pencils the pencils oils paints markers and even computers you can create sketches to express designs and ideas hmm? now the fashion illustrator you can strictly work with fashion designers or a designer company or you can freelance you know working with high-end clients from home or at your studio you can also sell your illustrations yourself or through a third party for you to stand out as a fashion illustrator as like the best fashion illustrator you need to invest in the best material for the sketches and also have a strong social media present presence to promote your content as well now another fashion venture that you as a fashion entrepreneur can venture into is starting to retail babies and uh, maternity clothes for pregnant women it is a cool way of making money and uh, before starting this type of business it is very important to first of all conduct a thorough market survey and feasibility studies so as you choose a very good location to rent or to lease a store now if you look at this type of business in an area dominated by people that are retirees then you are likely to have so many struggles in your sales but one of the best places you can locate this type of business is a hospital or a maternity and uh, a place where pregnant people are usually are <laughs> 